Hello everyone and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. In the last session, we discovered that Snow White, not in fact dead, but rather someone else had been glamoured to look like Snow White and then killed. And we found out right at the end that the person that was getting her glamoured was Ichabod Crane himself. And it did occur to me that like maybe Ichabod was glamoured and it wasn't actually Ichabod, but then we also did see him smash the mirror. He was watching us discover that and he smashed the mirror when he saw it which implies it probably is actually him and not someone glamoured to look like him so today we are heading into episode three a crooked mile and uh hopefully we will get to confront ichabod crane about his very creepy <laughs> glamouring a prostitute to look like snow white so that he can Our get with her used to be so simple we had a beginning middle and an end. Right, of course, we'll get the there little previously on. Awful city. Everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. Sad. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god. And then Beast came in and thought that we were hooking up with Beauty. But Beast never explained why he was in here. It's Crane. Right, let's see how quickly this Crane thing resolves. I think the next time showed him fleeing, right? So I don't know if we're going to get to speak to him. That piece of shit. Fucking creep. That fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. Oh, I'll I tell know. her. I don't I, I don't think What's he actually killed her, though. What did you find up there? I don't know. You know. other than the... I just need to find Snow. We'll see. Why? We'll see. What's going on? It seems too early to have the killer revealed already, you know? Crane's been... Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. The room is covered in evidence. That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. All right. Baby? Wait. Thunders in the what? background. Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful. I'm pretty sure I know, right? I saved her and from the shit she doesn't her, talk about. But I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Alrighty. The Buckingham Bridge. 10.28 p.m. Very specific. By the way, was there any fables that I missed? The Book of Fables? No, we did. I mean, we missed some entries, but we did read them all last time. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Because I noticed the extras menu on the main menu said it had stuff in it, but that's just bugged. Hello. Honored to be asked to speak to 
night. It's a tradition that everyone speaks. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. Not gonna interrupt. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that, that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, Equal in strength to our mourning her loss. I'll miss and worrying it is in that about you. That I'd like I'll to miss talk our about fights. What you've I'll all miss been so you, grateful to share with me. Holly. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and patient. Now you will rash never die and from indifference. How she carried a, a torch for the old life. ways. For Goodbye, tradition. Sweetheart. For a Thanks for everything. Pageantry. Vivian. And most of all, it seems how Lily loved dearly loved her friends and family. You were a big, she bright, shining star in this shithole of a town. I never met I miss you already. From what I've been told. Sad times, man, I sad times. That she would it's have everything, right? It. And now yeah. we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Okay, if we're having a moment of silence, is she going to be pissed if I walk over to her and Click the talk to button. Bigby, is everything okay? Okay, nice. Waited for snow to finish. No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Sorry, dude. Wait, well, after what I did? What the fuck did I do? Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you Wait, have the uh, nerve fuck. to show your face She thinks here. that that was me? After you lie, after you promise me. Holly, wait, that was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly gonna be okay yeah I didn't know man I'm sorry Holly I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well Bigby cares Holly he's trying to help and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here but this one isn't on him why are you here anyway and don't say it's cuz you care about this everything okay I'm here to talk to snow oh Really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay. Okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? I didn't want to say I think I know who murdered your sister I because I don't... No, you don't know how this must feel. I don't think it's going to end up no being idea. Crane and I don't want to set people on a fucking up. witch hunt don't wrong track anyone. kind of thing. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Like, if we, if we said in front of Gren that Crane killed her, then... Gren would definitely be on the warpath, I think. This better be wildly important. It is. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily. And... Making her look like you while he was, you know. This is, I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. Want to see a to picture? Not picture him. <laughs> I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? 
This is what he's been doing? I have the proof. Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. I we won't show her without asking first. Town for messing all this up so badly. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't... Okay, I think that was the right thing to do, because she no, literally just said no, she didn't so want to picture it, so just it? suddenly showing I'm her... sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Would have been real Are bad. The burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. Are you okay? You don't have to do this right now. I'll be fine. How'd it go? At the motel? Uh, <laughs> yeah! She was killed there. No. Well, hmm. That's a good point. Yeah. There was blood everywhere, was so... There. Maybe it was Crane it was that did it? Mess. But... Oh. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like him, right? I'm sorry. I feel like he left and then someone else killed her. Larissa! Yeah, um... Coming! Like, Crane just doesn't seem the type, right? Creepy type? Absolutely. Murderous type? I don't know. I don't know about that one. Let's have a look at the old book of fables. What do we have? Troll funeral rites. The long absence. The gaze of great mother death is always upon us. Beneath her affectionate eye we fight our battles. We nurse our wounds. We shout our victories. We endure our sorrows. And when we fall, she is there. Her embrace is the silence of the mountain, the heavy peace of the stone. Approximately translated. A troll funeral is a sacred ritual passed down by oral traditions from troll mother to son. It begins at sunset with the creation of the cairn, a small pile of stones to represent the many generations of trolls that have travelled and died before them, the foundation upon which the living stand. Weapons are divided among the trolls' closest com comrades, the body and the rest of their possessions are burned, and though each viewer must speak to the life of the lost, the eulogy's candour would make a Monday blush. Vivian, Georgie's girl. Much of Vivian's past is unknown since she prefers not to talk about her life back in the homelands. She wanted to start fresh in Fable Town, but she finds herself working for Georgie at the Pudding and Pie. It's not a terrible life. Georgie took a liking to Vivian, so he doesn't make her take jobs at the open arms. Instead, she plays hostess and helps Georgie ensure complete customer satisfaction. Hmm, sounds great. Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you jerk-offs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular board. Oh yeah, so why is that? Crane alone, and we, we know they're alone. working for the Crooked Man. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. So what's the Crooked Just Man's interest in this? Whistle to heaven for a few short days. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother? Speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's uh -oh. happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? I don't know what to say, fuck. Uh... Settle down, settle down. Yeah, everyone just stay where you are. Nice and natural. Stop this shit. Right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport about this. 
Not making our lives any easier. Okay. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. I'll handle this. Yeah. Listen to your lady, love. Things uh, don't have to turn sloppy now. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh, you fucking I'm idiot. I'm gonna kill you! Fuck you! God damn it. Ow! Jesus, fuck. Didn't we- we just took the shotgun off the other guy and then we didn't use it? Why did we not use it? Why did we just drop it? She's gonna be alright, right? We can take shotgun blasts, yeah? She should be fine, I think. I think we're okay taking shotgun blasts, all the fables are. Awkward if not. Dying at your own sister's funeral. Not a great way to go. Not my preferred way, in fact. Bum, 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 bum. Such a good opening title sequence, man. Very good shit. Uh. Wait, what the fuck's going on here? This choice is blank, this choice is blank, this choice is blank, this choice is blank. Hello? Uh. What the fuck is happening? Is this a bug? Uh, okay. This seems like it's bugged out. Hang on. <laughs> Let's jump back to the main menu. This is definitely bugged out. Episode 3, continue. Okay. <laughs> fixed? This didn't come up before, so I think fixed. That was weird. Fable Town Business Office. What the fuck I was that? I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And okay. try and get some rest. Are you... okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Is it just me or are the options way bigger than normal right now? Very good. Am I going crazy? I feel like they weren't that big before. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? I'm pretty sure. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. 
There's no way they were that big before. Hang on, is this a setting I can change? Can we change size of... No, invert Y and selectables. I don't even know what that means. Uh, but it's not going to be audio video because that's just whether you're displaying subtitles and stuff. Controls is not going to be... It's just that. Should I quit out again? I don't know why this part is so buggy. <laughs> First of all, it takes us to a thing where we can't even choose anything. And then it takes us to a thing where everything's massive. Oh, fuck. Do we have to start this conversation again? Okay. Well, rip. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Yeah, yeah. Take it easy. Will do. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. They're still massive. Keep strain off your heart. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Yeah, yeah. Everything in moderation. I'll try to. All right, then. Very good. Man, this is really bugging me. Why is this why is this episode this so is buggy? Office. Why know, why are the I options suddenly massive? Looks weird. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap, Crane watched me through the magic mirror, uncovered. Okay, we're almost back to where we were. Almost. It, so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after her. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. Okay, here we are. I, I don't know. Any other leads? There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. They I don't, don't know work if... for Crane. They I work mean, for the Crooked Man. Is gonna sound crazy, we found that out last episode. Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? No. Because it's just, it's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. Just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really... Terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Yeah. Heals a strong word. Can I, um, dulls it? Question? Time dulls everything it's eventually? Kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you. But after tonight, it's on my mind. Why? What's on your mind? It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. 
fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Hmm, I don't know if she believes me. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What missing a piece? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing fuck. a piece. He took one with him. So that it what couldn't be repaired. What do you mean, missing a piece? What do you think he means? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No, What's the hard way? We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Hmm. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. Oh? He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His Interesting. Witch. Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. So that's why he told us not to touch the stuff in her pocket. Because he knew it would lead us to the witch that he is using. Uh, see anything else? You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. It's not your fault. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. I can't say it's not your fault and then ask why didn't you stop him. <laughs> I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Because saying why didn't you stop him implies that he should have been able to and failed. And that therefore it's his fault. Which we just told him it isn't. Why do we have to walk around to look at the desk? Hello? Are we going on a fucking massive trip around? Jesus. What's in there? Oh, hello. Something's been ripped out. That was torn out. Oh yeah? The ring of Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Wow. Every Glad you can item read. Not obtained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. Interesting. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. AM or PM? AM. 
Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. I'm guessing you're not a this big reader. Was your ridiculous <laughs> you don't know what it was? For a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical you're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Neither are you. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you really care, man. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. Well... It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Biggie is star. free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Yeah, that is obviously it a major part. It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They are definitely heavily involved. I go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. They really could. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Yeah, that's definitely not Look, what's this happening. This is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really... Yeah, well, he wants to be in charge. And the next time showed him sitting in Ichabod's seat, so... Where are you going to go, Bigby? Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick. So you talk. leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. No, I'm going to no, Holly's I'm bar. Dealing with things. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. I'm doing what you suggested. <laughs> that is literally your suggestion. The Trip Trap Bar, The Bronx, 1238. Okay, so we are literally, yeah, I was gonna say, we're literally an hour and 22 minutes away. <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just, you know, what happened. Hmm. We know what happened. Or how it happened. Why would she want to hear that? Well, can I tell you what? Can I just, I don't know, wait here for a bit until she wakes up. Then? <laughs> what do I care? 
Okay. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Sup? Well, come on in, buddy. Friend, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Yeah, yeah, not not great. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Brand. We really should be checking on the crooked man. Mexico. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Cause like, clearly, the Tweedledee, Tweedledum dudes... Really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Have you seen ...are heavily involved. What, and we know they work for the crooked man. Um, so... That stuff he to be here? must have some information. Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back. You won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Looks like he's mixing it with alcohol. <laughs> yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? You sure you don't know where Lily's things are? You should care about this, since it's important to the case. What did I tell you before? I'm sure I don't know. That funeral back there, that was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Didn't see you stopping him. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all going to have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. Sure. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. Hopefully, he will You're actually dead. help us if we just do this real quick. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times are you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! Jesus. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Okay, guys. <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. Nope. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Ah, great. Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. 
What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Jesus Wait. Christ, man. I got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you Maybe saw we Billy, can get some info. Did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. You said I wouldn't be able to wake her. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Gren won't remember this. <laughs> That's a funny twist on their usual thing. So, <laughs> well, she's definitely out of it for now, at least. Uh, is that the shit? Can't just grab it, so. Yeah, well, that works. Now let's take it out the room and search through it somewhere else where we can't make noises that'll wake her up. Let's not look through it right there, that would be a bad idea. Out the room, Big B. Oh, you fucking Not idiot. You, Woody. Oh. Woody, is that you? I'm not going to say anything. Bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. Nice. I was hoping she'd just go back to sleep. If I didn't say anything, she'd recognize it wasn't my voice if I said something. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. I thought you were a friend. Gonna keep quiet. A dress book, hello. Uh. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. Just gonna keep quiet. But, you know, it's not like he... If you were 
getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. But, which one? <laughs> I guess we gotta visit them all. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Sure did. It's an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone in Fabletown. Any ideas? You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Yeah. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have mm. a lot of time. The meeting is at two. Let's do D and Dumb's office. I'll head over to Tweedledee's place. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good it's luck. tempting to go to you Crane's office to make sure that Bluebeard's not doing anything stupid, but probably better to canvas all three locations. 